back to a new video so in today's video once again we've got some madame glam gel polishes we've got some tips ready and um, these are the colors i'm using and i'm going to be the the inspiration for this set was these gorgeous animal print sunflower decals from nail sugar so i've got lemon drop i've got the loop and i have got spooky pants keep the change and we have also got perfect black so you can get 30 percent off any madame glam gel polishes using my code natmog30 uh, what i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to cut the images that i want out of the sheet of decals so we're going to do like a sunflower together but on separate nails and then i also want like an extra one and um, you can get 10 percent off any decals glitters etc from nail sugar using my code natmug10 um all the links and um discount codes will be down below anyway so you can find the website and then obviously use the code if you want to all right, i'm going to cover the four nails in the loop color uh, madam glam gel polishes need a 30 second cure so in they go and then we're going to go over with a second coat i'm going to skip forward because i was out of shot but that is the second coat applied i'm going to pop it in the lamp doesn't it look amazing oh i love it then we're going to use lemon drop for the fourth nail i felt like we needed a yellow nail because you know sunflowers and all that um yeah i always find yellows quite hard to work with i don't know why but this one wasn't actually that bad i'm going to go in with a second coat i actually really like this yellow it's a nice like a summery yellow like a nice sunflower summery yellow yes that is my description of it <laughs> okay again that's going to go in the lamp two coats and then i'm going to take a little bit of perfect black right if i were to do this again i would do this bit last um and i'll show you why i'm going to put a line down the center of the nail i'll tell you for why in a minute <laughs> but for now we're going to do a line if you've got a striper brush it would be a bit easier with a striper brush i'm using my detailer brush and you just get a straighter line with a striper brush but i was too lazy to get mine out so i'm doing it like this that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds then I'm going to add some little dotty dots. So um, I don't want too many, but I want enough. And I, I quite like dots. I haven't done dots for a long time. But we're just going to make sure they're, they're kind of... I want them to be uniform or as uniform as possible. It's quite difficult because as you go down the nail, the nail curves like tucks in. Um, so just make them look as uniform as possible. Now, when I apply my decals now, um, I learned this hack with a stamper. Um, it was Karen no was it karen i don't know how i found out but i found out and it was just like what it's the best thing that's ever not the best thing but it's it's pretty good um so you put your stamper on your stamper no you don't you put your decal on your stamper cover it in water and then the backing just slides off i'm gonna just dab it with my finger to get some of that water off and then you just stamp it where you want it I do need to do it with a better stamping stamper because um, I can't see through it very well. So I can't see where I'm putting the decals half the time. Um, but can you notice the decals are quite see-through? Um, if I'd have put this on a white white, the yellow would have been a lot brighter. Um, but because it's on a slightly dulled colour, um, it's a little bit darker. But I've added some dots on one side. And also my point was that you could see the line underneath the sunflower, which I didn't like, but it's done now. Uh, right, this is Nail Sugar Sandstone Glitter. It is a gorgeous um, champagne gold metallic multi-sized glitter. I'm um, just going to clean off my stumper. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going we're gonna to do the same thing with the half sunflowers. I'm going to um, just sort of skip forward. And one of them is going to go on the left, right on the edge. I actually got it quite i was actually quite pleased with the placement i wanted it sort of in the middle um it was the, the next one that was going to be awkward because um actually it was pretty good apart from it was too far away from the edge but i do you know what? i'm not going to grumble because it could have been a lot worse look that was that wasn't too bad that was that was okay i was quite happy with <laughs> where they ended up uh, now sometimes when i'm going to add glitter to a nail I will put some base coat on and then sprinkle the glitter on. But this time I literally only want like a few little sprinkles of glitter. So I've got some base coat on my palette and I'm going to take 
some of this glitter can you see um, I'm going to put a little dob of base coat on using my dotting tool pick up a piece of glitter and then place it on to that little bit of base coat that I put on and um, sometimes I find that when I put base coat onto gel polish um, not every time but I've had a couple of instances where the base coat has wanted to shrink so I've ended up with a lumpy nail because um, the the base coat has shrunk and some places on the nail there's base coat and some places there isn't so because I'm only like I literally only want to put some glitter like around the edge literally like that I think that looks really cool um, I'm just putting little dots on where I want the base coat so that when I come to cure it that glitter is going to be cured into place and then when we come to top coat it that glitter is not going to move we're going to do the same on the other one and then on this nail so if you look closely into the sunflowers uh the decal on the sunflowers no if you look closely at the sunflower on the decals <laughs> i got there in the end and um, there's animal print in it so on one nail we're gonna do some animal print i tried to get some brown colors that were as close to the color of the animal print inside the the leaf the petals of the sunflower but i couldn't quite it was quite difficult for me because the 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 animal print in the petal is quite small so i thought right well we'll go with something as close as possible um yeah so what we're going to start with is i don't think even this is probably not exactly the same animal print that's in the petal but it doesn't matter because you can't really see inside the petal that clearly that it's gonna that anyone's really gonna know basically so that's what i'm trying to say so if this is not quite the same animal print it's not the end of the world as long as the colors I wanted the colours to be as closely matched as possible and because my eyes don't work very well this this was going to be it for me <laughs> so I'm just using that darker brown also the darker brown has got a bit of a it's got a bit of a metallic shimmer in it which is quite nice um so yeah so we're just going around the edge of those lighter brown dots that we put on you see the really tiny ones we're not going to go around those we're going to leave those but i do do something in the end because i didn't like them that color um when i do these when i go around these blobs sometimes i'll do two two bits sometimes i'll do three depending on the size of the blob so there's one bit there's two bits there's three bits you see you see I think actually most of them are three bits depending on where they are on the nail like if we're coming off the nail then I'll probably only do two bits but you know whatevs do what you want you don't even have to do this same kind of animal print you could do a different one you could do like why not do a zebra mix it up um, and then uh, yeah so these I decided to go over these with that darker brown because I preferred it the darker brown because it had a bit of a shimmer in it I don't know what it was I don't think it was glitter but it was it was a sh definitely a shimmer there we go i'm sorry if you can hear noises by the way i can hear workmen outside i've got my tumble dryer going and my kids are in the bedroom so there we go that's going to go in the lamp and then of course i'm going to matte top coat them because you know me in matte top coat <laughs> um yeah so this is going to go over all the nails i specifically used metallic glitter as well because if you velvet matte top coat hollow glitter it just loses all its niceness so there's no point wasting hollow glitter on velvet matte top coats we might as well just use metallic and metallic glitters look really nice velvet matted as well matte top coated in my opinion see doesn't that look cool i love these so much and um, i don't even think they need crystals so there we go i hope you like these if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing um links and discount codes will be down below so you can go and find madam glam and nail sugar um can you see what i mean about that line through the sunflower that's the only thing that i'm not happy about but next time um anyway um god bless i will see you beautiful lot in the next one have a lovely weekend love you bye